Hey, hey guys. Okay, so I am attempting this new Instant Pot recipe. Let me just holler at my friend Karen real quick because, man, it's not letting me invite her. Okay, she'll hop on in a second. No, back out there. Got my grand dog. Knox. <laughs> okay, Karen, where are you, girl? I have to sit here and wait on her because she has my recipe. Whew, I'm so hot, Jennifer. Hey, girl. So, I'm attempting. If Does anybody have an Instant Pot and have you used it and do you love it? Because I have one and the only thing I ever use it for is um, bacon sweet potatoes or regular potatoes. I never use it for like making a meal. Sorry, I gotta keep my eye on my grand dog. And um, so, as soon as, where is that girl? Let me see if I can do this real quick. Uh, Karen. It's not letting me add her. Man, where is she? Okay, we're gonna have to wait just a second. So, sorry, I'm having a hot flash. I'm chasing Knox around all over the house. Outside, he was chasing Cooper. My hair's getting on my nerves. Oh my word. Okay, so instant pot recipe. Here we go. Uh, um, I'm going to. Okay, so if you if you don't know what an instant pot is or you've never seen one, hey Karen. Flip this around. Okay, so this is an instant pot, and if you're not familiar with it, an instant pot is like an electric. Um, thank you. Like an electric crock pot, and it has this little thing in it where you can like, set the little handles up, and then you can pick it up. I put my baked potatoes and sweet potatoes because that's the only thing I ever cook in it in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to use this or not. I'm going to say not. But anyway, I don't know what model this is. I have no idea, but it's pretty cool because you just... Um, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Um, let's see. Where is even the... Oh, oh, it doesn't turn on until you put the lid on. Okay. So, anyway. Okay, let me flip the camera back. Okay, let me prop you up. I'll prop you up in my cabinet. Okay, so I think, Karen, if I'm not... Mistaken, I am fixing to get me a dog. Not neighbors. Where's my no no spoon? Got me a button. Come on. Eh. 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 Eh.
So what else we got? Oh, it doesn't tell how much cilantro does it. I'm just going to pull some off. Let me get my little cutting board. I'm going to pull some off and just throw it in there and mix it up a little bit. I like a little bit of cilantro. Like I made, I have been making my own salsa, y'all. And it's actually pretty dang good. It has a lot of garlic because I love garlic. And that's why I have this cilantro. All of this stuff I had in my cabinet. If y'all have an Instant Pot and you're not already on the Facebook group called um, Taco Seasoning Before the Chicken, um, if you're, there's a Facebook group called Instant Pot Community. Holy cow. That is... You know what? I forgot you're having to type all this. Oh my gosh. Let me see if it will let me paste the message. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, you don't have to do it no more. Okay. Okay, I've got it on the screen. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Karen, you don't have to be my... Okay, so let's see. Um, Sprinkle a little taco mix. Okay, I can do that. Got a little bit of taco mix. I don't know how much to use when it says sprinkle. How much do you think a sprinkle is? Speakerphone. What are you talking about? I can't speakerphone you on um, right now. But I pasted it into the comment, so that's pretty cool. And it just popped right up. Okay, so sprinkle some taco seasoning. This is an enchilada chicken recipe in my Instant Pot, if you're just now tuning in. And guys, if y'all watch the replay, if y'all just hashtag replay so I'll know that that somebody enjoyed it or thought it was pretty tacky or maybe have some um, tips and tricks for me. Whatever. I was, oh, you are, oh, 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 that's good. That's good, okay, good. Okay, now, three to four frozen chicken breasts. I love this because you can literally use them right out of the freezer. Those are two honking chicken breasts. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do, there's three, and then I'm gonna add just a little bitty one for grins. And I am not a cook, so I could totally be screwing this up. Okay. Okay, that's all you do. Let me, and then it says set the Instant Pot to cook for 15 minutes on high pressure. No additional water is needed. Natural release for eight minutes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. After I just shoved you up my nose. I have the cilantro, the enchilada sauce, the, the what did I just have? The, um, what you call it, the tomatoes, um, the rotel and a little bit of taco seasoning. I have four frozen chicken breast, and this is what's so cool, watch this. And I'm just pretending that y'all don't have one of these so that I'm teaching you a lesson. Okay, so now, what did it say, high pressure? Why didn't it come on? Uh, oh, it's not plugged in. Okay, that helps. Okay, let's see. Natural, let's see. High pressure, no additional water. Okay, so pressure for, well, why isn't it doing? Oh, oh, manual for 15 minutes. Okay, and then I just leave it and that's it. And you see this little right here is pretty cool. It says keep warm. So like if you put something in there and had to go run an errand and the time ran out. Sorry. And the time ran out. It would keep it warm until you came home. And then on top. Let me show you this. Um, you put this little thing to seal. And then this recipe says natural release for eight minutes so normally when something's done i can turn this and the steam will pop up but it said to natural release so that means 
that it'll do it by itself. And you're supposed to, once it does that, for eight minutes. And then you shred it. Okay. We will see how this turns out. That was so easy. It's like almost too easy. What do you think, Karen? Think it'll be any good? I will be back in, I guess, maybe 30 minutes and see what it looks like. Y'all stay tuned. Bye.